Okay, I uh, hope I, my voice is coming through okay. Uh, so, it's uh, June already. We, we're nearing the halfway points of uh, 2022. Um, yeah, it's going by really quickly. Um, and once again, just got a few of these uh, to uh, review th th this month. I've really not been as productive as I was in the past, but... I'm looking forward to talking about these all the same. Um, maybe, maybe I'll just uh, wait a little bit and see if anyone turns up in the chat so I can say hi. Uh, I'm not going to wait around too long for those those of you who are watching this from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, but um, it, it's a. Uh, you know, the commissions are going really well. Uh, I've, I've had so many people. Uh, asking me about them so yeah i've managed to get plenty of customers i just wish that i had more time you know there are so many people who want to get a commission from me so yeah um and yeah so uh i'm going to talk about them in a, in a little bit just uh just give me a little bit of time Okay, so uh, I'll, I'll just go ahead with this. So the first commission I have here was for Cliff Hazel, um, who has a, a Gator OC called Gin. So that, that's the one on the uh, on the left. And for the, for this commission, uh, Cliff asked me to draw his character belly bumping with uh, Squeezy Pie and for those who don't know uh, Squeezy Pie is one of my characters the, that yellow and orange bear uh, and you know, I have a lot of, lot of fun with, with Squeezy because uh, yeah, I, I, the whole idea is that she loves to hug people <laughs> she likes to give people bear hugs <laughs> uh, and, and it's been great because you know as I say I haven't been that productive but and yeah, I, I've not found a lot of opportunities to draw my OC so much uh, these days. Uh, so whenever I, uh, someone commissions me to draw my own characters, that's always a lot of fun. It, it, it's great to have an opportunity to uh, do some fun things with them. Because yeah, that, that's what I've been hoping to do. Uh, since I came up with uh, Squeezy, I've, I've been looking for opportunities to draw stuff like this yes yeah, so um i'm quite happy with how this one turned out uh i think because like yeah I, I i i do find myself you know, I, you know wondering how i could have improved on this because there is something about the physicality you know I, I i don't know if i quite got the physics right um because i i didn't really think that much about what i was actually trying to do because uh they, they i i think the most logical thing would have their, their bellies squash a bit i i think i ended up um making Jin's belly a little less squashed than it could have been because when you're when you're doing this kind of thing the the easiest way to do it is just to have the circles cross over and and then kind of uh, make it so that that they become flat uh, and I, I could have just done that and that would have been simple because you know, one thing that I have kind of noticed is like with the last bunch of commissions I did I took a very long time I spent a lot of time I, I I just took it very slowly. It took me a long, long time to get those done. And I don't know if they look much better than what I've done here. So I'm starting to think maybe I shouldn't worry about you know that, how much. Hey Ben. Yeah, um, I was talking about um, 
the commission that I, I did for Cliff of, of Gin and Squeezy. Uh, yeah, uh, so maybe I don't really have to spend so much time because I can actually tell you it took me um, here we go uh, four out four hours uh, four hours and forty minutes apparently <laughs> to draw this. Uh, which isn't really that long. It's not as l as much time as I spent on a lot of my previous commissions. So I think that's probably you know just a few hours for, for, for a job like this. I think that you know, that might be as long as I need. All right, let's move on. Ah, so I, this is a TF sequence that um, this was for Kit Coon, um, who uh, you know, I, I think followed my Telegram channel. Uh, and they contacted me through Telegram. Yeah, uh, again, this was a lot of fun. Uh, I definitely stole a lot of inspiration from Jargi. Uh, if you haven't, if, I don't know if you've seen Jargi's work. Um, the way I drew the elephant, the the the, the final phase over on the far right. Uh, yeah, I based that heavily on uh, Jargi's drawings. Because I really wanted to, because I've drawn elephants in the past, and you know, I, I usually just go for a very basic kind of elephant design. And for this one, I, I wanted to have more detail. I wanted to um, show some creases and things, and and also to tr try and um, get better at kind of like silhouettes and get getting that good kind of body shape, that sort of overall shape of the, the creature. Uh, and I, I think I, I might have looked at some pictures of real elephants. I should do that more. Should actually learn from real life. <laughs> yeah, well, um, I'm pleased with this. Uh, and yeah, um, I, I, I did kind of uh, apply my own kind of style to uh, the the first well, the, the the image of um, the, this little character on the on the far left um, actually I might just uh, move this around a bit so yeah this this will give you a, a better idea of uh, how the sequence goes and yeah I um, I enjoyed this one and uh, it was actually it, it was quite a challenge um, because yeah, when you're doing a transformation sequence, uh, it, it's it's all about working out you know how you get from one form to another, and I think actually for a lot of artists, especially cartoonists, this is uh, a thing that's good to to practice. You know, it's a good way of of learning new skills. Okay, this one is for Cameron Hops, um, and this is oh thanks Ben. <laughs> Very kind of you. Yeah, uh, these are his characters, uh, Cameron and Milo. Uh, and I do love these characters a lot. And it was a privilege to uh, do a commission of the, that involved these two. Yeah, the, the, there's just so much fun that can be had with these kind of characters. Uh, so basically, Cameron asked me to draw. Um, Milo force feeding Cameron junk food. Uh, so yeah, that, that's what, what I did here. <laughs> I mean, while I was working on this, I did do some painting practice. I think this one took me a long time because I I kind of uh, I found I found myself just doing a lot of practicing with char the characters. Like from Milo, I looked at the reference that Cameron sent me, and I had to go up painting it digitally. Hey Lionel. I'm oh, glad you like it. Yeah, thanks very much. Yeah, um and yeah so before I actually uh started working on this one officially I I did a bit of painting practice. Cause we, we, cause the reason I'm I'm doing that is because I do find it very satisfying to uh, paint things digitally 
uh, rather than what I did here, which is kind of more like cell shading stuff and all of that. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm actually trying out different brushes in Clip Studio Paint now. Um, I, I, yeah. Actually, because I, 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 I could have added those in as, as yeah. Uh, I might do that, actually. It, it's a live stream. It, you know, it'll take as long as it takes. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to have to export them, though. That might take a little while. You know, I, I think I'll, I'll save them for the next live stream because I didn't prepare it for this. So, but yes, yeah, so that, that's something that I'd like to share with everyone at some point. Anyway, back to this one. Um, I, I'm again happy with how this came out. Uh, I, I don't know if um, the, uh, the, the those paper wrappers lying around. Uh, the the only thing that. Uh, I'm not sure about is the, the, the kind of design that I, I used. I don't know how clear that is, but um, they're, they're meant to look like they have kind of logos printed on them. But I, I don't know. I think I may have had to, uh, I, I, I may, maybe should have looked up uh, some more references and thought a bit more about what uh, fast food packaging looks like. Um, and anyway, because the brown paper bags are just brown paper bags, doesn't really matter. The uh, uh, hey toothpick, some good round boys. Glad you think so. <laughs> yeah, thanks very much. It was being really lovely in the chat today. That's like, yeah, I do appreciate it. Yeah, um, it was, I, I, I can't really remember what the process of this one was like. Uh, I just because I, I I don't know because I. I, 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 for some reason, I really like the rotation of Milo's head. I think because I, I don't usually make characters look as natural as that. And I'm hoping that's something that I can learn a bit more because I couldn't really explain how. I mean, sure, yeah, it's just like circle and cross hair lines. That, that, that's generally how you work that stuff out. But I, I think, yeah, I, maybe, maybe I'm just, just starting to get the hang of it. Yeah, I mean, because I, I look at this and I can I can see all kinds of things that could have been improved. <laughs> Big buns are the best. <laughs> we all agree. Yeah, um, I, I I couldn't really be bothered to draw that many paper paper bags. Um, so let's see, there there are about uh, six, I think, on on all together on there. But I I did try and make it look like. This, this kind of like a never-ending trail of them uh, so that that's why you, you don't get to see all of them <laughs> they're all lined up it does kind of give the idea that there's, there's a there are there's a lot of lots of fast food remaining right I think this is the last one that I'm gonna be talking about today uh, th this was for Mauve Mauve Squeaks um, and uh, he asked for um, a picture of his Sona getting squashed by Sleazy Pie. So I showed you Squeezy Pie earlier. Uh, so Sleazy Pie is another one of my OCs. She's uh, Squeezy's big sister and she's a bully. So uh, I often draw her just giving smaller tunes a hard time. And Again, this one was a lot of fun. I remember because one of the questions I asked Mo was, um, if you want her to be sitting on you, uh, <laughs> she is a, she's a big bully. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, um, if you want her to be sitting on you, then um, how, how do you want it so that we can actually see you under the? Because I, I suggested just drawing her standing up. Like like she like just after she sat on him and uh, he could be stuck to her, her rear end, uh, or we could do it this way that I ended up doing um, and have that little side panel thing where you can actually see him smush yeah <laughs> flattened into a nice pink disc <laughs> yeah uh, and he was really happy with this one. Um, the thing that I mean, this isn't really the the most important thing that I need to be thinking about. But I'm not too keen on the the purple shading I did for the ground. Um, 
I think it looks a bit too much like it, it, it's like an emission or something. Like uh, I, I don't know if that make if that works quite so well. I, th I think I probably should have, um, you know, uh, painted a bit more around to just make it look like that was the color of the ground. Because I, I I wanted it to kind of fade out as it got further to the edge, but I yeah I, I, I don't I don't think I spread it out enough. I think it should have gone further out. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm quite happy with how the, the the cracks in the ground came out. I mean, that works to a pretty good effect. Uh, I, I used very basic shading for this one. Like you can just see like that shadow going down her back, uh, and that was not very taxing. Just <laughs> again, this was quite a quick one. How long did this one take me? Let's have a look. Um, they only five hours. Yeah, these, these ones only took me a few hours. You see, you don't really you see, guys. You don't have to spend days and weeks on the, these kind of projects. Um, the, the, you know, it doesn't really, it doesn't need. To, I think because you know, I mean, yeah, you you got to put you got to put a lot of care into these uh, these pieces. But um, I th I think there is also something great about drawing confidently you can tell when someone was being confident with pancakes yeah <laughs> of course there's something else that we can <laughs> my, my, my uh was well and truly pancaked that day yeah um you can tell if someone was drawing with confidence uh, and i think that's that's you know that comes with practice Practicing means that you'll be able to do things quicker because you can just go for it. You know, it. I I sometimes feel bad, like maybe I'm not doing enough prep, like thumbnail sketches and rough sketches and all of that. You know. But uh, yeah, I I think um, I'm I'm learning to kind of combine all of these important things, so. I will make sure in future that I'm doing things carefully, but yeah, um, yeah, that, that's what I intend to do. I do, yeah, yeah, I do have confidence. Yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> but yeah, because the thing is, I just I, I'm going to try and make sure I don't rush everything because you know, rushing projects. I mean, you know, um, like I, th I think. If you do a rough draft quickly, it's a good idea to uh, come back to it later and make improvements on it. Because because the, the rough draft um, it should look like everything that's going to be in the final piece should be there. Um, it is not such a good idea to leave it for the inking. You know, cut, uh, um, cleaning up stage uh, you want to make sure that like cause your rough sketch will start with random shapes and things that uh, don't look complete but from you know, that point onwards you're adding a lot more detail and yeah uh, you, you just you're gonna work up to a point where everything you need is there and it's just about um, cleaning it up so that you don't have all the scribbly bits that you don't want. Anyway, uh, I think those are all of them. Yeah, so back to the, the first one there. Okay, so thanks everybody for tuning into this rather short live stream. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Um, and yeah, uh, thanks very much uh, for watching. Uh, take care, everybody. And. I am off to the pub.